All right, all right, all right, guys and gals, here we are back at Bob's Barn Workshop. And we're back on this veal. And what are we doing on the veal, you say? <coughs> I have a few things to upgrade to get her running perfectly. And one of those is a brand new Protronics distributor and coil. Sorry, I'm looking for it right now. I see the box. My barn is a mess because I've been moving stuff out of the garage to make room in there for the winter. So, I got my little rolly stool here now. And here's what we got. The thing that has been confusing me about this machine is it has two vacuum hoses on the, on the advance. And I don't know exactly how that works. I've never seen one like that before. But this new Petronics distributor has one. Yay. Flamethrower. And I've seen these things work. I've got one in my Mustang. It's a phenomenal tool. And it sits like this. It gets rid of the points and the condenser. Gives you a new cap. I got brand new wires, if you remember. Um, that is the vacuum advance hose there. So that's going to go on the top of this. Now, if you look at a real Volkswagen, it comes out and it loops this. So what we can do is, seeing this comes off the top, we'll loop it. Because you don't want raw gasoline leaking down into the diaphragm and uh, destroying your diaphragm. I know that much about it. And I have this new... I figured, why not go for broke? And the new distributor and it's got lots of push pins and screws on it so that'll clamp right in there just like that and let's see that's the positive side now the positive side of this is weird because it feeds the coil I mean yeah the positive comes in and feeds the power to the coil the points actually ground the coil causing the internal field to collapse and when that collapses around the windings for the high voltage it didn't do, you know, just like, you know, how magnets uh, of uh, light poles repel each other. When that field collapses, it repels the electricity out of those coils. And it travels out the center coil through the right uh, contact in here to the spark plug. And it jumps that little gap in your cylinder and causes it to ignite. So basically, it's just a single-sided transformer is all it is. It's got a common power and uh, ground probably and uh, and then it just uh, and what dwell is what dwell is is how long your points are closed between cylinders so that the coil has time to charge up enough energy if your dwell is too short the coil won't charge up enough energy I mean electricity moves at the speed of light but it's still at many thousand RPMs that thing is firing a lot every second so it has to charge fast, but it has to have enough time to charge. So anyway, that's what Dewell does. In between each cylinder, the points close. The positive current is then allowed to charge the low voltage coil inside here, the 12 volt coil. And then when the, the points open, it has a field around, a magnetic field like the earth. And that collapses down through the windings of the secondary coil, which is many, many more thousands of windings, which creates a higher voltage. Boom, that voltage travels out again through the primary wire into the distributor cap, wherever the point, pointer is pointing to uh, whichever cylinder it's on. And that juice travels out that particular spark plug and jumps the gap in the, in the chamber and fires the fuel. Hopefully that's all in time. Now to do that, there's a cam driven off from the engine here. I'm not sure if it's on the camshaft here or if it's on the, on the uh, drive shaft. I'm not sure of the mechanics inside of this engine, but it's turning that distributor so that it coincides with each cylinder as it fires. So to change the timing, because you want the spark to fire slightly before it gets to the top dead center where it's compressed the fuel, because again, it takes time for that spark to travel, it takes time for the fuel to ignite and start to expand. So that's called advance. You fire the spark in advance of top dead center and that changes, that's why you have vacuum advance, because as the vacuum changes on the engine, this diaphragm in here moves the internal parts a little bit to change that timing to correct 
for the different RPMs. I hope you find that somewhat helpful. All right, so.